What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing another Black Desert online video, and today we're taking a look at something a little interesting that's come up since the crystal socket changes. Is using a green weapon better than Pen Black Star at a spot like Orcs due to demi-human damage? This is also including um, setting up a demi-human lightstone set. If you are here because you just want to know the answer to that, too long didn't watch, I can tell you the answer is technically yes, it is better. Uh, and tech by technically, I mean it does pull... Uh, better numbers and trash and overall money per hour. Um, obviously, more mobs killed means more drops. Uh, however, the amount of, I guess you'll say, effort or setup involved with it um, makes it not appealing, I would say, for your just a brief synopsis. Or for your average player, your best bet is run the best set of gear you've got alongside uh, Demi-Human Lightstones and just pay attention to your AP caps, the AP cap at orcs being 856 if you're hitting that number start to switch out for things like exquisite cron meal over simple and still hit the caps and giants uh draft over frenzy if you can still hit the caps as well while using a demi human lightstone set um, now if you want the specifics on why that is again the green weapon is better when you can do it but uh, but we'll we'll jump into the video and uh kind of see why that is uh moving forward so first up we need to talk about the level of gear um that was used for this and what type of gear you would need to actually accomplish this. Uh, so you, you can see my gear. Obviously, I have a lot more than is going to be necessary to uh, functionally do this the same way that I did. A, a whole lot more, actually. Um, you don't need pen distos or anything like that for this. Uh, I just happen to have them. So having more gear or more, more AP more specifically for this, what that's going to do is allow you to use less buffs than you're going to need to hit AP cap. What I mean by that, um, Perfume of Courage, for instance, is an additional 20 AP that you can pick up. Uh, very easily obviously as well as like a house buff with another 15 ap so you've got an additional 35 ap to work with there um, just off other sources that aren't your food or your draft food and draft being important because these of course um, have the opportunity to run extra critical hit damage uh, or special attack damage if you can hit the ap cap without using simple cron or frenzy draft frenzy draft the upgraded version having 35 monster damage and simple cron having 30. so more gear is going to give you sources of other ap so that you can focus on getting um, even more damage i will say this spot specifically especially at the ap cap level you're going to be killing these mobs with a dead human set in three skills at least i was killing in three skills um on on the green setup so the critical hit damage there is nice um, the spe the uh, back attack is kind of I mean it's nice I suppose but you're not really getting it it's not like you're doing a full skill rotation right you're not you're not sitting there like using a full set of ten skills or whatever to kill these mobs you're killing them in three skills and going on about your day so that's something to think about as far as where your gear is with how to, how you're going to set that up and how much AP uh, I strongly recommend just checking it out and something you want to look at when you're calculating. Uh, what your total AP for this zone is going to be. Um, open your My Stats page, look at what your total AP is, either for Awakening or uh, Main Hand Setup, and then your Monster AP, and that's going to be uh, that amount as long as you have full buffs on and also t keep into account your skill add-ons. A lot of times when people are calculating this, you're forgetting that Monster Damage skill add-on. Some classes have the benefit of having a constant Tier 3 30 Monster AP up, uh, like Awakening DK can pull off and Succession DK cannot pull that off, so they have a 20 Monster Damage uh, that they can keep up consistently so think about that for your class as well when you're trying to determine exactly um, what gear you do need for that so uh, i elected to get set up with uh, c7 on the green main hand just so that i hit 297 this then made it so that i could do this very lazy i didn't have to run any perfumes or house buffs or anything uh, i went just uh, church buff uh, exquisite cron meal with the giant's draft obviously bell's heart etc etc the the normal stuff from there so i wasn't dealing with house buffs or anything like that um you can uh adjust your gear accordingly to uh to match that um keep in mind you have to hit the cap you have to the cap don't switch to demi human until you do the amount of damage you get for monster ap getting up to that cap of 856 is slightly more damage than trading it out for demi human demi human damage uh one amounts to about 85 percent of one ap prior to that cap so if you have the option of going um 10 um monster ap additional pre 856 cap or 10 demi human damage you're going to see 10 ap worth of damage difference on the monster damage you're only going to see 8.5 ap worth of difference on the demi human damage so keep that in mind it's going to be better to get more ap until you hit the cap then you want to switch over to demi human because once you hit that cap it's virtually useless to stack more ap at that point obviously your crystals will fall in line uh with this also so now that we kind of got a synopsis of what we're using let's go ahead and check out the spreadsheets and kind of break down why i say that uh, your best bets to just use the lightstone set and maybe forgo the green weapon 
despite it being a little bit better. So let me get that pulled up. Okay, so here's our spreadsheet for the 10 hours that were done, and I had an additional hour, I just called a control hour for it, which was done with standard gear or what I would run, uh, you know, uh, mil every everyday running PVE type setup uh, for that sort of thing. So our average, uh, if we actually take the control hour out, it's uh, about 715 mil per hour uh, with the green weapon and demi human set. Uh, the peak on that being 818 and the low end being 681 mil. Um, so that's not bad. Our one hour that we did without demi human was 569. A couple of things to note with this. Um, so one of the other takeaways from this is because of the green main hand you're obviously going to really want to use an awakening kit uh on your class so that may be somewhat of an issue if you typically play succession you've never played awakening something like that obviously this use allows you to hit brackets much much more easily because the ap is not going to be as restricted as it is uh with the green main hand so that's something to think about um i can play both but i don't i don't main awakening dk i did do awakening dk for this so that's something um and i also didn't always use optimal rotation i mentioned that because my trash if you take this hour out it's about the twenty three thousand range 22 to twenty three thousand mid high 22s i think um without the the control hour uh factored into that i have seen numbers in 25k plus um that's going to depend on rotation i only had uh the front like good rotation once or twice for this um and then obviously there's a lot of class variants because pack to pack matters i kind of wish i could have done this or did do this in succession i could have but would have needed to stack a lot more buffs that were kind of annoying to pull it off so i just went lazy and did awakening but uh yeah i, I could have actually pulled even higher numbers um in a succession set uh mostly cooldown management for awakening is kind of annoying at arcs uh, but there's like i said there's also a familiarity issue there too so just want to point out these numbers are what i did and more of a realistic number if you wanted to go full sweaty grind mode um on a on a class that's really really strong at orcs something like that and that was just what you were trying to do i wouldn't be shocked to see 25k plus and and even higher for um full sweat you know grind modes if you're grinding in full screen um you're already sweating it more than me i this is not my cup of tea but the but using the same setup across it kind of gives you an outline of what we're looking at so obviously it's much more money than we, what we did here. The trash is pretty solid. Obviously the lowest with the green being the first hour as I was remembering what Buttons Awakening does and that sort of thing um, for it. And then just significantly lower by the end. This was also the last hour that I did. So yeah, there's also there's also that. And then just coincidentally, really the RNG on it wasn't as good. I think it was the lowest seed of voids. Um, I, obviously I kill more mobs uh, by a little bit when I'm getting more trash with it so that's going to have some impact but uh yeah i really did just get low rolls on some of the uh actually even this was being at 14 a lot of the other rng was in there so um looking at averages for garmoth in the 600 mil range is kind of your your typical run of the mill we're, we're doing over 100 mil more on that and uh with uh with a good rotation and properly set up we're doing around 800 mil so the the setup that we're running to do that um as you know we're using the green weapon my actual ap number doing that with everything factored in is 863 again the cap is 856 for that this was 75 additional demi human damage uh running exquisite meal gives me five percent additional crit and five percent additional back attack damage giants draft 10 percent special attack damage and then i do have critical hit rate uh, excuse me critical hit cups the hit critical hit damage so an additional six percent there um, when doing this with uh, just my pen black star in main hand, didn't do anything fancy for that setup uh, for it. So demi human damage at 28, the AP being 956 is 100 over cap for it. So it's literally five AP additional because of the 5% cap there. So pretty worthless to stack any more amount of AP, but we wanted to get a baseline. Um, and that's also because ran simple cron along with frenzy draft, your like typical run of the mill PVE setup. And then obviously I my, my crit rings are my crit rings. So I have 6% crit. Uh, on those regardless of how I slice that. Um, so that was kind of how we set that up. The The difference in these is that you could also potentially, and like I said in the beginning of the video, you could just be running this setup with the, this was not with Demi Human Lightstone setup. You could just run this setup with Demi Human on it, which gives you an additional 30 on top of the species damage that you already have off of uh, off of your current weapons as is. Uh, all species does apply towards Demi Human uh, damage as well, which is why you have that. So in that scenario, you're going to get an additional 30 uh, on top of it, that's going to give you 58 demi human damage versus the 75 here. And honestly, from there, you just tweak your tweak this setup. Forget about the green main hand. Tweak this setup to just run the 58 demi human. Run the exquisite. Run the giant's draft so that you can get enough from here. And then just don't worry about it. You can do it. It is going to be better. Obviously, you. you I mean, you are getting um, what 12. You're getting 12 more demi human damage 
or 12, 5, 6, 7, 17, 17 more demi human damage. It's going to be more, um, but this is really going to be like super triad with an alternate weapon that you're switching to. You're going to need to run awakening at least to make it a bit easier on yourself with the number of buffs that's in there. And it's kind of like, you know, 17 demi human damage. You really, you really need to, uh, I guess if you're going out there and you're finding that you're not three or four skilling at that point, I mean, I guess maybe, but to go a whole side weapon that you may not already have, you're not really going to be able to buy it. Um, cause everybody's trying to do the same thing right now. Um, you'd have to make one. So yes, it is better. It will beat out pen black star every single time when you're set up correctly, as long as you're hitting cap with it, more human demi human damage at orcs is better. Is it worth doing it? Um, I think the best bet uh, for your all around is just the light stone set and forget about the green main hand unless you really, really just want to go like super try hard and try and put up like record breaking numbers or something like that. If that's the scenario, uh, then you'll then you'll want to run that. Something else to note is uh, the AP offhand. Um, uh, you know, I, it was recommended that I try and run that with my gear. I couldn't make that work and actually hit AP cap. Um very easily so I, I don't know maybe with a debo pen debo neck or something added in it like really crazy gear maybe you can make that work and get the green uh main hand the um and green offhand pen i do have one uh it gives an additional 10 percent any green uh offhand with pen level and it's in the ultimate form will give 10 percent well any any level doesn't have to be pen but you'll want it pen uh will give 10 percent special attack damage increase so potentially some more there the trade-off is you're going to lose a ton of monster damage so hitting cap becomes a lot more difficult than it was previously so yeah it's it's possible but the other thing and the last piece to talk about is it worth grinding it to do that if we take the amount of gear that i'm using to do this and that even with the green weapon and then we look at these numbers like i mean we can do 1.2 1.3 billion an hour at hex um trolls even you know we're going to be a billion plus with that level of gear so it doesn't really make a lot of sense i think your best bet like i said um is if you're not geared enough or you don't have the dp side to be able to do something like hex or even gyphon underground uh this is around gyphon underground numbers are slightly lower depending on your rng uh for tongue grad drops then you know this is something to to definitely consider especially the demi human lightstone set um you could potentially go for the green main hand weapon in a scenario where you don't have even like a Tet Black Star or something like that. Um, maybe you already play an Awakening class, so the main hand uh, isn't even a big deal to you for it. So maybe you just want to smash some some crons in. It's like 69 crons to click from Tet to Pen on the green weapon. Give that a shot. Maybe you get it. You know, a scenario where you're still gearing up, it would maybe make sense to actually run this because you're going to be at Orcs for... Uh, a ton of hours anyhow maybe you still need to grind out your cups and you don't have any of them so you need to stack up a ton of red shards you know things like that i can definitely see it being an option but if you're geared enough to run hex or trolls no it's not really worth your time to go back to orcs and try and max it out um honestly i got pretty bored with this after the first like five or six hours and wanted to just end it there but i wanted to get enough enough hours in to actually get a decent average for what we were doing the upside to orcs is trash loot's roughly the same just depend as long as you're on the same rotation um i did switch around a bit so there you have it the green is technically better um it's not necessarily super worth it um and i would recommend just picking up a demi human lightstone set for your everyday usage and then just go on about your business keep gearing um yeah, unless you just want to make a pen green main hand and say that you did it. Yeah, you certainly can. So there you have it. That's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to like it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when new videos do go live. And if you'd like to catch me playing live, there's a link to my Twitch page in the description down below. Jump on over there, drop a follow so you get notifications for that as well. With that said, that's going to be it for this one. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I will see you next time. Hey.